Hi, my name is Bhavik Desai and in this video, I will be going over the new Enhanced Story Summary widget in AOS 5.18. So let's take a look. Before I go into the details of what the updated storage summary widget looks like, let me give you a brief explanation of some of the terms I'll be using in the video. Uh, the first term I'll be using is the logical capacity for used for free. That is the capacity of the cluster after accounting for the fault tolerance value of the cluster. And then uh, tied to that is the physical capacity, which is the actual raw capacity available to the cluster. And a new term that uh, is relevant with AOS 518 with the updated storage summary widget is the resilient capacity, which is basically the capacity in the cluster that can be consumed while maintaining the cluster's ability to self-heal from failures at the configured uh, fault failure domain and the fault tolerance level. Now, before I show you the updated storage summary widget in AOS 518, let's see how it looked like pre-AOS 518. So this is a cluster running AOS 517. And this is what the storage summary widget looks like in that. This shows you a very simplistic view of how much storage is being used by the cluster. Uh, this is showing you the logical view right now. And it can also show you the physical view. Now, let's look at what the updated storage summary widget in AOS 518 looks like. As you can see, this cluster is uh, has a different feel in terms of showing the storage summary uh, data. Now, before I go into the individual pieces of that, uh, keep in mind that the data sh shown over here is closely tied to the data residency status uh, of the cluster in terms of what the failure domain is and the fault tolerance value is. Now, in addition to the logical and the physical capacity of the cluster, what we also have on the storage summary bar is this vertical line, which to shows you the resilient capacity that the cluster has. And as you can see, it's uh, from, from the definition, uh, the resilient capacity is uh, capacity at which uh, if the usage goes beyond that, the cluster will not be able to self feed completely at the configured uh, failure domain, which in this case uh, is configured to be at the node level. Now, another thing which is different in this, which you might have noticed from the previous widget is the color uh, uh, on, on the bar. Uh, it's showing an amber color versus the green color before. And the reason for that is uh, we let you um, set thresholds for the resilient capacity. So the default uh, threshold is 75% of the usable capacity. And you can also set manual values for that. So let's we'll just keep it as a default value. So once uh, the usable capacity crosses that uh, uh, threshold value, the, the bar will turn from gr uh, green to amber to give you a warning as to getting close to your um, resilient capacity. And once the usage of the cluster goes beyond the resilient capacity, the bar will turn red, uh, telling you that uh, the usage is beyond the resilient capacity and the cluster will not be able to tolerate a failure at the configured failure domain. So that is a key point to remember uh, that even though uh, the usage summary will cross uh, the resilient capacity, uh, use its will get across the resilient capacity. Say, for example, in this case, uh, the failure domain is set to be node. Um, it will not tolerate a node failure, but uh, if a disk failure happens, happens, it will still be able to tolerate the disk failure and self heal from that. Only at the configured uh, failure domain uh, will the cluster not be able to self heal completely if the used space on the cluster crosses the resilient capacity uh, for that cluster. And finally, the widget gives you the capability to also look at storage usage from a node basis. So if you click on the view details button, this view gives you the capability to look at usage on an individual node basis in terms of the total space available, the use space and the free space available on, an, on every individual nodes. Now for this cluster, uh, all the nodes in this cluster have the same storage uh, uh, space available, but there might be instances where there might be clusters with storage heavy nodes and there might be storage skew. 
So this page helps you understand uh, and gives you a better picture of which nodes uh, have how much uh, storage space available. And not just that, uh, if the storage overall usage space is getting close to the resident capacity, it also gives you a way to look at uh, the individual nodes and determine that losing a particular node in the cluster, if a failure can be tolerated on those nodes or not. So in this case, all the 12 nodes of failure can be tolerated uh, on any of those nodes, which is indicated by this green check mark. Uh, but if there are cases where uh, an individual particular node is uh, cannot tolerate a failure, that will be shown by a red exclamation mark. So I hope this uh, uh, video gave you a brief overview of what the enhanced uh, uh, storage summary widget uh, looks like. Uh, so with AOS 518, it just gives you a visual representation to the admin uh, as to what uh, resident capacity is available uh, at the configured uh, domain level, as I mentioned before, um, so that uh, the admin has a better understanding um, of what to do once the stored overall usage gets close to the resident capacity. Now, uh, in upcoming versions of AOS uh, down the line, uh, admins will also have the capability, capability to reserve uh, space uh, 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 for resilient capacity such that uh, if they choose to where they want to make sure the usage of uh, in, on, on the cluster do not go beyond uh, the resilient capacity, they can choose to do so. Uh, 